Okay, so opening up the last file I had of the apartment, which was the cabinets file, I am going to start importing those um, happy little uh, outlets and putting them in places where I think they'll be seen. Um, and what I mean by that is um, if you know you have a big TV stand thing that's going right here, Yes, everything will be plugged up into it, but the camera will never see the outlet, so you won't put one there. We're only putting them in as basic, um, let's say, detail, um, just to give it a little more realism. You know, for instance, I'm going to put a microwave here later, but I'm not going to put the outlet back here because the microwave is going to cover the outlet and the camera will never see it. So I don't want to put all those polys back there if we're not going to use them. So to bring in my outlets, let me just go back here. I'm going to merge them. Go to merge and find the electric outlet and open it and just select the group and bring it in. And now you'll have this huge outlet because I'd never scaled it like a dum dum. I should have scaled it before I brought it in, but it's no biggie. I can just uh scale the whole thing down. And um, let's measure it. It's actually um, four and a half by two and three quarters. So I'm going to go up about, let's say, four and a half right at it. And then two and three quarters, which is 2.75 roundabouts. Anyway, that not have to be perfect. And just scale this thing down. Let's move it over here. scale this into place and that looks about right I'm gonna leave the tape measures here because I didn't scale the uh, light switches either so back in the little perspective mode I'm going to bring this in and over and I do have one in the kitchen I actually have a couple in the kitchen that we probably won't put anything in front of just so we can have it to show. Turn it around 90 degrees. And what I want to do, I forgot, I want to actually put a lip on this. So let's open this and select it. Hit cap, grab that, and let's just shift drag out an edge just so we can put it against the wall. Close the group and then it's pretty much on it like that. Now it'll show gray right there. It's because this is going further back. So what we should do is open this one more time and just push that back just a little bit more just so we can give it some room. We don't want this to actually touch the wall. There. Now it will show up black in those spaces because we're cutting off the light to the inside and uh, it'll cast shadows in there that will give the black effect as if it goes further into the wall. So I want to slide this up some and over about this much. All right. And while I'm at it, I'm going to create a layer and call them outlets. And we'll put all of our... Um, outlets and light switches and such things of little detail on this layer. So I'm going to drag out another one bring it over here flip it around 180 degrees put it against the wall not in the wall like so kind of center it up and there's one right there there's one over here, but I know I'm going to put the TV there, and you'll never see the plug, so I'm not going to put it there. And there are actually a f quite a few, you know, um, actually, that is that is in this area. Um, will we see them? I don't know. So I'm probably not going to put those uh, in there quite yet. I'm going to shift-drag out another one, though, and I know you'll see the one in the bathroom. I'll 
turn this negative 90 this way. And I just want to get it into place. Um, it's not necessarily, not necessarily does it go right here, but um, at least I'll have it there for when we put the cabinets in, which is right there. There's only one in the bathroom. And there's a couple in the bedroom. Um, and there's, you know, a couple more throughout here. And like I said, we'll place them as we need them for the camera. But um, I think I'll put, I'll shift drag out another one and I'll go ahead and put the one over here in the dining room. I don't need to rotate it. Let's put it against the wall for now. Bring it over here and down. And there I have that. Now I don't know if we'll actually see it yet, but like I said, I will delete the ones that the camera will never see. But you see it's going to start adding some detail in places and, and make it look really nice. Alright, so let's import or merge the light switch. Okay, just the group. And doing the same thing, we are going to scale it down. Because I'm an idiot. But it doesn't take that long to scale anyway, so. There we go. That's right. So, I have a light switch that is... Uh, where do we have one light switch? We've got a one light switch that's in the hallway. Let me get in here. Let me turn it around 90 degrees. Now if you don't want all of these to be in the on position, you can either flip the switch part vertically or you can just turn the whole darn thing upside down so it'll be in the off position. But I believe I'm going to have all the lights on. Well, at least I think I am for now. I don't know yet. We'll see. Bring this up some. Light switch right there. I got a single light switch. I have got a single light switch by the patio door. Now these things will be seen. Shift drag a copy over there. Turn it around 180 degrees. Because the light switches usually are not blocked by anything. And if they are, they're insignificant and we don't really use them. So I have that, which is right by the door. Okay. Um, I actually have one by the door, but it's a, it's, it has two on it. Um, we have one in the bedroom. I shift drag a copy over here into the bedroom. And these are all about the same height, so once I create one at one height, I'll just leave them all the same. And you can go in and you can measure your light switches and how high they are off the floor if you want to, and then place them where they're supposed to be. So I got one by the door in the bedroom. Okay. And then I'll have one, I'll shift drag one, and I'll put it in the bathroom. Like so. All right, so we have that one there, one in the bedroom. We have one in the hallway. And now let's take care of the ones that are in the living room. We'll merge the double light switch group and uh, just auto rename it. Use the scene material. All right, drag this out here by the um, tape measures and scale it down. Now, I probably could have modeled a better light switch than what I did, um, especially the switch part. But, you know, 
for something that's not going to be it it's more like oh there's a light switch there but no one's really going to take the time to go well is the screw faced this way is the light switch exactly beveled the way it should be because it's going to be such an insignificant piece of detail we just want it there so the viewer goes oh well it adds realism to the room because you know how many how many interiors have you actually seen you know where people model it and they don't actually um put any switches in the room it's just like they have lights and the lights are on but there's no switches in there and no one really thinks to say hmm is there a switch in here that actually turns that light on so nobody really actually thinks that stuff they just assume that there's a light switch in there but by adding a light switch okay we got the double that goes right here kinda close to the front door but not exactly it's a little bit over here okay um, by adding these light switches it gives that extra realism Shift drag one out. And one goes in the kitchen, which controls the um, the light. We'll turn it around 180 degrees. It controls a light that is under above the sink, which we probably won't even bother with. And um, the garbage disposal. Right, you want these about the same size. I know I said don't scale anything, but I sometimes break what I say. Alright, so I got the double right there. And it's actually a little bit closer to the sink, which is right here. Alright, so we have the double there. We have the double here. And I think that's it for the light switches and the outlets. And they should all be on the same layer. See, that adds realism to the room that we didn't have before and to me that is always a good thing you know we got our light switches in here we got some outlets we actually have an outlet right here but I don't know if an end table is going to block it or not I don't think it will so let's just shift drag an outlet I know there's one on there's two on this wall but I believe we're going to model a couch to go right there and it will block the outlets so there's no need to put those there always think ahead coming from the guy who didn't pre-measure his outlets don't always listen to me listen to me sometimes and this kinda goes right around here okay so they should all be on the same layer if I hide it all the outlets should go away except for these light switches didn't so if you want to, you can select by name or hit your outlets. You can select light switch group, shift select all of these, select them, and then add them to the um, highlighted layer. Okay, so if you hide them, all the outlets disappear too. Okay, so we have our outlets in. We have our light switches in for the most part. Um, and up next, what we're going to do is put a little... Uh, thermostat which controls the air conditioner and it's just going to be a couple boxes or just one box extruded and maybe beveled a little bit because we're going to slap a texture on it that's going to give it the realism of what the thermostat actually looks like in my apartment so um, we don't have a radiator like some places have radiators that sit on the, the floor we actually have some vents that are in the ceiling that blow hot air down which we're not going to bother with but we are going to put that thermostat that controls the temperature on the wall to give it a little more realism for the uh, bedroom or for the living room and the whole apartment scene so okay in the next vid we'll model that and get that ready and uh, we should be starting to get to the point where we model um, pieces for the actual room so we're getting close I'll see you in the next one